Kind regards, today is Saturday, June 8, 2024. This is meteorologist Ruben Garcia. In this video, we will be talking about the interaction of several atmospheric disturbances occurring over the Gulf of Mexico and the Western Caribbean Sea. This interaction is associated with the arrival of a favorable phase of the Madden-Julian oscillation. And specifically, from the middle of next week, we expect the interaction of several disturbances, including the Central American Gyre, a trough that will develop towards the southeast of the United States, and two tropical waves that will be crossing the Caribbean Sea and reaching the western region by the end of next week. This interaction promises to bring significant rainfall to areas of southern Mexico, Central America, and Cuba. In this video, I will discuss the expected effects in Central America and Southern Mexico. Here we can clearly see the Central American gyre and the two tropical waves that will be moving through this region. Rain should persist over Central America for basically the next seven days. Let's talk about the Central American gyre developing over Central America. As I mentioned, this is associated with a favorable phase of the Madden-Julian oscillation, which will help the formation of low pressures and instability, bringing heavy rains across Central America and Southern Mexico. In the current infrared satellite image, we can see numerous thunderstorms and rains towards the south of Cuba and north of Jamaica, as well as some rains developing towards the south of Chiapas, Guatemala, and El Salvador, and in some regions towards the east of Belize and the Yucatan Peninsula. Rain coverage will continue to increase and should peak between Tuesday and Wednesday. This rain event should extend at least until next Friday, and it's important for residents of the Yucatan Peninsula, Chiapas, and Central America to stay alert to updates over the coming days, as well as the western half of Cuba. Here we can see the accumulated rain projection according to the GFS model. You can see that for some regions of Guatemala, Chiapas, and the rest of Central America, between 125 to 200 millimeters of accumulated rain is anticipated. Also, note that for the western region of Cuba, the model is predicting over 300 millimeters over the next five days. So, there is a high risk of flooding that will continue to increase early to mid next week. Let's see how this interaction of disturbances will occur during mid to late next week. Let's look at the GFS model projection, where on Monday morning, the Central American gyre is over areas of Nicaragua, Honduras, Guatemala, Belize, and the Yucatan Peninsula. Additionally, the first tropical wave would be located south of Cuba, and the second would be moving south of the Dominican Republic. Then, between Tuesday and Wednesday, you can see that these disturbances converge and create a humid flow from the Caribbean moving over western Cuba and reaching the northeastern Gulf of Mexico and the state of Florida. We are concerned about the moisture flow moving from the Caribbean over the southeastern United States and western Cuba, as this could cause a significant flooding event. The European model ensemble members have between 30-35% to 35 probability of developing a tropical depression over the next five days, either south of Chiapas and Guerrero in Mexico, or over the Bay of Campeche and northern Gulf of Mexico. The important thing is that for now, the National Hurricane Center has not marked the area as a potential area for cyclonic development, but I suspect they will do so early next week. Well, that's all for this video. I hope everyone has an excellent weekend. Until the next video, 